Hey, uh, Chopper Tom here. I uh, just got some uh, some tips I'd like to share with you uh, on uh, skinning a wolf. Uh, I got a wolf yesterday. Uh, so it, was, um, it wasn't quite frozen. Uh, the legs are frozen, so I had to wait till this morning to uh, let them thaw out. Uh, one of the things I do is I, um, I skin out the feet. I, I, uh, I skin the legs, and then I take my sawzall and I cut that bone on all four. I did all of them. So then that way uh, it makes it easier uh, once you start skinning out these uh, out the feet uh, you know once you get going you can just uh, hold the bone and uh, but I'll show uh, I'll show a video of that once I'm doing it uh, another thing I do uh, as uh, any of you that have caught a wolf uh, and know they don't smell very nice uh, so I take some uh, paper towel and I shove her up the butt and uh, hopefully that keeps some of the smell in, uh, this being a meat eater. And like I said, it wasn't frozen, so I'm imagining it's going to be a little green. Uh, another thing I do is uh, once I get going, I skin, I skin the, uh, fa uh, the head. I start here and I work my way back to the ears. Because, uh, you know, I, I like to do the lips and, you know, you want to get the eyes nice and everything. So uh, it just makes it easier uh, than once you start, you know, you case skinning the wolf and you get down, uh, you know, you pull it over the legs and then once you get to here, uh, it just pulls right off because you've already done the head. Uh, in the past, uh, you know, there's definitely blood and, and stuff like that. And uh, uh, yeah, it's just a, a tip I learned from a guy. And, uh, and, you know, it's laying on the bench. It's easier to work with. Uh, this is not a big wolf. I think it's a two-year-old maybe. Uh, so, you know, you, do, you can do everything on the bench until I... Uh, Get the head done, and then I'll and then I'll use and uh, I'll hoist her up, and uh, and start case getting it. Uh, it makes it nice if you don't have a. I have a ten foot ceiling, so it, this one won't be too bad. But if you don't have a you know a high ceiling, it makes it a little difficult for uh, pulling it up. So this way, um, like I say, all the legs are done, and then uh, once I I get it all skinned and uh, off the carcass, then I can go back and uh, work on the legs. Uh, anyways, I'll uh, show a video of that uh, once I uh, I get going on that. Okay, thanks. Hope everybody's having a good trapping season.